I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Peter Dixon, and uh, I've been uh, an electrical and mechanical engineer involved with uh, power electronics design, and, and in the latter part, the last 25 years of my career in induction heating. And uh, I started a modeling service uh, back in 2005 uh, to uh, concentrating on the induction heating uh, industry. And I was immediately attracted to Quickfield as a, a basis uh, to do modeling because I could see that uh, it had the, uh, the API that Vladimir mentioned uh, called Active Field. And uh, I, I, I saw the uh, webinar last month by Richard Ness, and uh, I did the same thing as Richard. I spent my initial time with Quickfield. I did a very complete calibration and analysis to make sure that uh, Quickfield and its API could, comp could solve the fairly complex induction heating calculations involving coupled uh, thermal and magnetic solvers. Okay, so in today's uh, presentation, uh, this uh, slide here shows what I'm going to be covering. Um, how to do front ends, that means a, an overriding program that uh, interfaces to Quickfield. How to do front ends for solving classes of similar problems. Um, it's very useful if we say designing a uh, um, a magnetic component, uh, in, we're designing a lot of them that are all similar, it's very useful to have a program that uh, automates a lot of the routine tasks. So be, uh, my presentation uh, will, will illustrate an application that could be used for that. I'm going to show you how to create uh, Quickfield problems and uh, I found a big advantage of Quickfield was that we can partially manually create problems and partially automatically create problems. And that's very useful uh, depending on what we're doing. If we've got a complicated model geometry, we can create it manually ourselves. Or if we've got a simple routine model geometry, we can create it programmatically. Uh, concentrating on cross-coupling uh, between the thermal and the, the magnetic solvers. Uh, today I'm using the transient thermal solver and the transient magnetic solver. Induction heating, I usually use the transient thermal coupled to the AC magnetic, but uh, I, I was happy to be invited to this webinar, and uh, it's a dual purpose for me. I had a project I wanted to do, and that was to couple the nonlinear transient magnetic to the transient thermal, and uh, I decided uh, to, do, to do a project and then present it as this webinar, so that's what I did. Uh, I'm going to be covering splines, so the, the how, to, or how Quickfield handles uh, splines and how to automatically enter the uh, nonlinear properties uh, from, for example, from uh, analytical calculations. And importantly, I'm going to show how to solve a, a sequence, a sequential chain of problems in time. This is necessary uh, when we have to update, for example, magnetic properties uh, as the temperature rises. We have to have a, a series of problems, and uh, shortly I'll show how we do that. 